What up data nerds? In this video of the Tableau tutorial, we're going to be going through how to create a stacked bar chart in Tableau. Also, as a bonus, we're going to be using the show me card. And with this, you'll be able to go in and actually create any type of visual that you want within Tableau. So let's get started. To show what we're going to be aiming for for our final product, here is the stacked bar chart that we're aiming for. We're using the Tableau Superstore data set for this, and for it we have categories of materials, so furniture, office supplies, and technology, and then we have subcategories sub within it that are broken down further that we want to color these categories for, so that way whenever we look at it we can tell how much of the profit for a certain category is being obtained. To begin, we're going to be start with a new worksheet. From there, I'm going to grab the category and I'm going to throw it into the columns. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the profit is what also we want and I'm going to throw this into the rows card. This is what I typically do. I always start by just throwing it into uh, the column and rows cards. Next from here, remember we want to color the profit based on its subcategory. So I'm gonna take the subcategory over here and I'm gonna drag it and, uh, you know, let's just say I don't know how to make it. Uh, the easiest way is I just throw it into that columns card and then from there it's going to be breaking it out by subcategory um, and category. But this isn't what we want. We want a stack bar chart. The show me card is, 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 is your friend, so make sure you're using that. So whenever I scroll over visuals that aren't grayed out, I can, and also those that are grayed out, I can see what it needs to actually create this visual. So for this stack bar chart, you need one or more dimensions and you need one or more measures, which we have. So I'm gonna click that. And from here, uh, Tableau automatically creates this stacked bar chart for us. And as you can see, it has all of the different elements that we need uh, for this visual. So just as a recap, all we have to do is throw the data values that we want into the columns and the row cards, and then from there, go into the show me card and select the visual that you want to actually use. So let's use this same logic and create some other visuals that we can, that we want to see with the show me card. So for this exercise, we're going to start with a blank worksheet and we're going to go in and let's keep it basic for the time being. So we're going to look at, I want to look at categories and then let's, uh, let's also look at sales for this matter. And in this case, it's going to do an aggregation of some of the sales. Now let's look at the show me card of what's available. Um, I can do a stack bar chart from here, but it's just going to be, um, a stack of the different categories so we can go back to our uh, original view that we had. Um, what are some other things? Okay, let's say I want to do this map here. I want to be able to see some sort of visual with categories and sales. From here, you can see down at the bottom of this pane, it says, hey, you need one geolocation, zero more dimensions, and zero or one measure. So we have a measure in there. Um, we have a dimension, but it needs a geolocation. So let's take a country, um, throw that into here, and then now you can see that it's actually available. And we can actually select on the country itself, and you can actually have overviews of the different categories based on the sum of the sales. Just to drill this point in, let's just do one more example with the show me card to show what it's capable of. So I'm gonna start by clearing the visual itself because we have a lot of clutter on here. So I'll clear itself. Same thing, we wanna look at category itself and then also sale. So I'll drag that into here. Um, now let's go down and let's say we wanted to create an area chart. Okay, so for the area chart, uh, a continuous area chart, we need uh, one date, zero or more dimensions, and one or more measures. Right now, from looking at it, I can see that we're missing the date, so that's why this isn't highlighted right now. So I can go over here, grab a date attribute, I'm just gonna drag it into the column shelf, and then from there, I can uh, select this stacked area chart, and I'll press it, and then from there, it will actually generate it and have it fully functional for us. And so you can see over time, the change in the different categories based on the sales. 
So personally, I really like the Show Me card, especially when generating new visuals and you may be unfamiliar with Tableau because Tableau will move the data around as necessary within the desktop application to generate the visual that you need. Vice you having to remember where you need to put something in a marks card, where you need to put in columns, where you need to put rows. Just use that Show Me card and select the visual that you want and Tableau will build it for you. As a quick shout out, this video is part of a series where we go from importing the uh, Tableau Superstore dataset from Google Sheets all the way to getting it to an automated solution into Tableau Public where it automatically updates. And we build a dashboard that tracks the employee performance of those in the Superstore dataset. So if you find that tutorial interesting, please consider subscribing. Also, if you found this video useful, please like it. Um, also, I'm interested in learning more about what you need to help with in Tableau. So comment down below on things that you'd like to learn. I'd like to use that to help shape the way this channel is going. Thanks for your time today again, and hope to see you.